Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is your daily love tarot reading guys Pisces. For your general energies, career situation and relationship, we are picking these cards. So these are for your general energies Pisces. So cards are just flowing out of the deck guys. This is for your relationship guys and this card is for your career situation if you like this reading and if it resonates spices please like and comment i'll be happy to know what you feel about this reading and i have a pick a card love reading right after this general energy so if you are interested you can watch that reading that may give you more clarity in your circumstances so let's start with these cards for your general energies first we have judgment two of cups and nine of cups so in your circumstances today maybe in your relationship or maybe in your work circumstances you are uh, maybe going towards a better state of things um, all those problems or whatever you had is resolving things are changing your circumstances are definitely changing and you're healing from all those emotional stress or it may be financial stress that you experienced in your work so you are uh, your circumstances are improving even in this relationship things are changing maybe with this person you uh, would have had some arguments or some fights maybe but that is changing you are really happy today you have uh, love and respect all those misunderstandings has brought you both closer and you feel really friendly because you understand them you know what is there deep down in their heart of hearts and even they understand you in a better way today after all those arguments and they feel really happy to be with you and you have a great intimacy attraction in this relationship and you feel really happy to be with this person you love and you are uh, maybe thinking of uh, something else also maybe you are talking to your friends uh, taking their advice and guidance about this relationship maybe this dramatic change has um, made you really cheerful and you are just boasting to your friends maybe or uh, talking to them about this person you love because you are really happy you are really happy that a uh, situation has turned around and things are going in a very positive way for you all guys pisces and you are really happy sharing your happiness with your friends or family and you are in true joy excited about this relationship and you are excited where this connection is going to go next maybe uh, you are thinking of marriage and you want to know what this person is thinking maybe of marriage or engagement so let's see what is the card for your relationship it's wheel of fortune in reverse so circumstances are going to go beyond your expectation guys something lucky something in you just cannot explain the happiness you are going to see in your life today the way this relationship is going and you are really happy and that is the reason you are talking to your friends or family about this person you love so that is what i see guys with these cards so for your 
Kedio circumstances. We have seven of cups. So you are making huge plans for your career, dreaming about your future, expecting certain things. But are you making the efforts necessary? If you are making the efforts, you are going to see success very soon. But if you are not, you need to concentrate more on your efforts, guys, because hard work will never go for waste, Pisces. So that is the energy with these cards. That is the reading for you all today. Thank you for watching. If you like this reading, if it resonates, please like and comment. And stay tuned for the pick a card love reading that is coming up right now, Pisces. For your love reading, guys, we have two cards here. This is your first card and this is your second card. So you can think about your circumstances, close your eyes, meditate for a few seconds, open your eyes and choose the card that comes to you first. That way the reading may resonate guys. So I will start the reading with the first card after a few seconds of silence. Okay guys. So now let's start the reading with the first card. I will keep this card aside. So for those who chose this card, the first card. Strangely lonely, holding on way too tight. So maybe in your circumstances today, you are holding on to some ideas or uh, maybe some belief you have. And you are not willing to let go of it. And though you are with people who care for you, who love you a lot, you feel really lonely because you are, what to say, holding on to some belief system uh, or something. And you need to connect to it uh, day on a day-to-day -day basis maybe you are doing something maybe practicing some rituals or uh, holding on to something very deep some something very secretively and you feel really happy to be in that space to be to have that alone time be in that uh, space because you have a lot of imagination and you are someone who loves that time with yourself and today you may not like the people who are disturbing it and you even fear letting people so close to you they that they will come to know what you are uh, deep down what you are really so you just uh, keep them uh, away a step away shielding yourself but today the energy with this card is maybe at least for a moment you should let go of this obsession or um, maybe you should not hide yourself so secretly you must let at least one person someone who is truly concerned about you who truly loves you to uh, let them come closer to you. Let them in. That is going to change at least for a moment. So you must let go of all your obsession or maybe uh, you are pushing certain people away from you because you are scared that it will affect that delicate balance you have. And your inner world is much richer than your outer world. So you s simply enjoy uh, in that space, in that uh, alone time but today you need to uh, what to say if you want to recreate your world in a better way you must willingly consciously allow someone close to you that is going to impact you in a positive way so that is the energy with this card guys for those who chose this card so let's see what is the second card for those who chose this second card, Archangel Raphael. So with this card, 
it just means that angels are here guiding us and this angel stands for healing and uh, this angel protects us when we are traveling so if you are traveling you can uh, pray to this angel for a safe travel and also this angel uh, card just means that we are healing emotionally physically and spiritually so it just helps us uh, this angel influences us to take up a healthy lifestyle what will uh, make us heal physically at the same way what is emotional healing giving up all those toxic feelings that we have so this angel also assists us in that and it gives us insight into what is beneficial for us what is beneficial for us mentally what is good for us physically and what is the right thing for us emotionally and spiritually and this angel stands for a healing power guys so you can uh, pray to this angel or you are on the path to healing so you are changing your lifestyle uh, trying to do things in a better way improving your health and even in your personal life maybe you are hurt about something or you are feeling hurt you should give up all that hurt and you must uh, try to be more positive uh, give up all those toxic feelings of uh, hurt resentment guilt whatever you have and move towards positive feelings be aware of your circumstances and the blessings that you have in your life today so that is the energy with this card for those who chose this card that is the reading guys for you all thank you for watching guys if this reading resonates please like and comment i'll be happy to know what you feel about this reading I will see you tomorrow with another reading. Bye guys.